Nine one per four three hundred and sixty four plus the temple on top or just the platform we can say makes two hundred and sixty five. Okay, we got the total amount of days. Now uh, there's a reason to be something really special. Ninety one days. Okay, in four sides. How many seasons do we got in a year? How many sides? As a temple. Okay, four because of the seasons. Now how many days last the season? 91, okay? So the Mayans, they knew really well about the seasons and that's why they divide this temple in four sides with 91 steps each side, okay? Now there's another thing, the months. How many months did the Mayans had in this calendar? They got uh, 18 months, sorry, 18 months of 20 days and one last month of only five days, okay? So we got nine platforms and nine platforms, 18 in total. Okay, now where is that last month with five days? In the roof, okay? In the roof of the temple, we can see a sequence of stones that begins at the left corner. One, two, three, four. Now, it makes sense to follow, the, if you follow your logic, that that sequence will end at the right corner with another stone. It's not there anymore, but it used to be, okay? To represent the month of five days, five stones, okay? Now that represents only the month, not the days. Okay, I already told you where are the days, okay? So we got the total amount of days, the total amount of months, okay? And there's one more thing missing, okay? The Mayans, they got an extra calendar combining the, the lunar calendar with the solar calendar, 365 and 260, okay? They begin at the same day at the same time, but you know, they got different numbers, so they don't end at the same day at the same time, okay? That happened only after 52 years. Okay, when this happened, they consider that the cycle of life has passed. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean that the Mayans live 52 years. The Mayans actually have an average of living like 60 to 65 years. And there has been cases that Mayans that live 80 years. Okay, so it's kind of weird actually in that case. Okay? So in the platforms we can see rectangular carvings. Do you see them? Okay. I would say it's a condom, but actually there's so many, so there's 26 on each side, 26 and 26, that makes a total of 52, okay, the total amount of years that they have passed to have a cycle of life, okay, so we got a full calendar representation right on here, okay, now there's something extra, okay, uh, right in the doorway, okay, there's a piece of wood, you see it, okay, Take a look a little bit more above from that piece of wood. A face. Exactly. There's a face over there. What kind of face? Or which is that man or that guy over there? That is a god. Okay. And this god is the god of the rain, Chak. Okay. He is the god of the rain, he's the one that is at the very top. Now, why? If this is the temple of Kukulkan, there's the god of rain over there. Okay. I'm going to explain that in a few minutes, but take, or ha have that in mind, sorry, okay? Have the face over there, okay? So, um, here I can show you a small representation 
or a kind of a fake version of the Equinox, okay? Here you can see how the platforms, they match with the railing behind. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, that's exactly what happens to the Equinox, but with the shape, okay? The shape pops out in triangles, okay? And that simulates the feather snake going down. That's why we have the head snake right on the bottom in that side, okay? Now, what's the purpose of this? The Equinox is March 21st and September 22nd. Sea time and harvest time, okay? Now, what's the real meaning? When the fitter snake comes down, he fertilizes everything. Okay, that's the that's the purpose or that's the meaning. That's why he comes down. Okay, so that means that it's seed time. Okay, and then September 22nd comes down to let them know that it's time to collect everything. Okay, seed time and harvest time by the god of the fitter. Sorry, the fitter snake god. Okay, now something important. Pukulkani was uh, the fitter snake god, but something uh, the features that he had. Okay. He was the fertility god talking about the soil, okay? And also he was the wind god, okay? Two representations just in one god. This is something kind of weird. Not all the gods have these features. Normally the gods, they have only one, okay? But this one, actually through the passage of time, begins to have more like the sun, uh, the rain, different things, okay? But that's something that happens after, okay? Now please follow me first. Hey, that's an excavation that the archaeologists made to look what was inside the temple and they found out that there was two more temples inside okay now everything that we're going to see today is from 1050 AD everything okay but inside these two temples the second one is from 725 AD and then the first one it was from 500 AD okay the changes the, the time they changed it a lot okay now um, this was an architecture process or an architecture style that the Mayans had in order to save time and resources, okay? Uh, imagine to make a bigger temple than this one, but just right here. You know, you begin from zero, it takes more resources and also more time. So what they did is the next thing. On top we got rooms, okay? So that room that is at the very top, they fill everything with stones, and that way it doesn't fall, and now they can use it as a foundation, okay? So when they did that after, they made the building on top. Okay, so uh, actually it works like the, these little Russian dolls, that, you know, you open them, they got more dolls inside. Mm -hmm. That's how the Mayans made If you see a huge sample of the Mayans, it's almost 100% for sure that there's going to be more temples inside. Okay, now um, something important, inside there they found in one of the temples, a jade jaguar, you know, it was a red jaguar with some incrust incrustations of jade, okay, some stones of jade. And also they found a chakmol. What is a chakmol? The statue that is over there. Okay. That statue that is at the very top, they found one like that inside this temple. Okay. And then in the first temple, at the very first temple, they found a painting in the wall about the human sacrifices. Okay. And now we're getting to the interesting point. Here in this main temple is where they made the human sacrifices. How? They use a small square table like this size and it was not really big like this size they put the person who was going to be sacrificed over there two priests holding from the limbs arms and legs and they bend the person okay a little bit not like a lot to break the back or something else they bend the person a little bit in order to see the last rib then he came out of the building the third priest with a knife make a big cut under the last rib and then drag the heart out okay and after that in this case we got that temple they climb on top and the chakmol, he's holding a mortar. That's where they put the heart, burn it, and then begin with their prayers because he's the God messenger. He sends the message to the gods of the heaven, okay? Now, what happens with the gods of the underworld, okay? Have you heard about sinkholes? Sinkholes, okay? Sinkholes. In the sinkholes, yeah. they have found jewelry, pottery, and also human bones. So after they drag the heart out of the person and burn it over there, they take the body, to the sinkhole, the ceremonial sinkhole, and uh, then they will burn the body and throw it in the sinkhole as an offering for the gods of the underworld. Now, why in the sinkhole? They believe that the underworld was dark, cold, silent, and there was water. So the sinkholes, for them, they were the entrance to the underworld. Okay, and that's why the offerings, they were dropped over there. Isn't there a sinkhole around here on this side? Um, sorry? Isn't there a sinkhole on this side? Uh, yes, actually there's two, and basically three. In that direction, like in like 30 minutes around, 
You go in that direction, you find one. That's a 30 minute walk. Yes. <laughs> and that direction <laughs> takes you like... I'll look it up online. <laughs> Maybe not. Exactly, that's why we, we don't tell it so much. Yeah, but there's something else that you have to know, guys. There's a sinkhole under this temple. Oh, wow. Okay? Now, when you're in free time, you will be, you will be able to walk a little bit. And I recommend you to go in that direction. You will find uh, like a hole, okay? Actually, it was an excavation. They found a platform over there. That platform goes from that point until this point. Okay, the platform is under the temple. Okay, and actually, that's why they say the archaeologists that the first temple it took them around to 50 years to build it. First, they made the platform and then they put the temple. Why? To cover the sinkhole that it was over there. The meeting is unknown at the moment. We don't really know why they did it, but it's really interesting to you know to know that they built a temple on top of a sinkhole. Okay. Uh, please follow the, uh, this ceremonial center, and after we finish, I'm going to let you in free time. Okay? Now, when I let you in free time, you will have to go by your own to the bus. Okay? Now, I will have to show you how to go back to the bus. Okay? Now, at any, well, uh, it can be kind of a problem if, in case that you don't find a bus, in case that you don't see it, we're going to settle the meeting point. Okay? When you go out, you will see a pine tree, and it's the only pine tree in the whole country. <laughs> so, uh, at the pine tree, that's where we're going to meet. Okay? Now, how to go out? Okay, um, after we finish, you're going to see this is stone. We're going to take this as a reference. This is a monument of UNESCO, as you can see, right here. Uh, they declared the place in 1988 okay, a human heritage place. Okay? Now, um, the important part is this monument, you know, the stone. It doesn't matter if you remember if it was a monument or not. You're going to see this stone. And then you're going to see this hundreds of blue umbrellas, okay? <laughs> and maybe this is the only place where so, there's so much blue umbrella, like, well, maybe also in the country, you will. You're going to see the blue umbrellas, you're going to see the stone, you follow the same road that we took, and you're going to see a huge sign that says sexy. Oh, you know, that's the exit. Okay? <laughs> so you go out and uh, we'll meet up at the pine tree. Okay? okay? Now, in case that we like to use the bathrooms before we go out, okay? So before we go, sorry, uh, in the exit, okay, before you go completely out, there's some bathrooms. There's a rest area. And now there, there's some signs that they say that there's the bathrooms. Okay? Now, please, follow me this way. No, bro.